Hello everyone, I saw Lion King, or Lion Guard, Return of the Roar, and here is the big rundown of everything I have to say about it. I have a big fat list, here we go. First things first is, it's amazing that they start off with the serious tone. Yeah, the serious tune that they usually use in the Lion King, they use that first. And I'm like, oh, they use an original music as well. And then you got a new voice for Simba, it seems like it's a new voice. It seems like it. And then Kiara apparently has friends. I'm like, what? Yeah, it looks like Kiara actually has friends. Like in the second movie, as you can see. And technically, I think Kiara was younger in that movie. So you're trying to tell... I guess I can understand the way that she does have friends. Because when she's little, most likely there won't be no one around. But now... And not only that, but what about the fact of... There was no... Simba had... Simba did not say, stay away from Kovu. Yes, like, yeah, I would figure it would be like, stay away from Kovu, but there was nothing. No mentioning of Kovu at all. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, well, anyway, so we got some new African music going on. That's kind of nice. We got Rafiki, and apparently, I think they got the voice actor who played as Rafiki back. That's good. That's a thumbs up. At least you got Rafiki back. That's good. It's kind of weird, too. It's like, there's no way you can dodge Rafiki because he was in the first movie. He was in the second movie. As for that one half, I'm not sure. But still, they were able to get him the two times. So to get him the third time doesn't seem like something hard to do. Anyways, we got introduced to Bunga. And Bunga is basically Keon's friend. Of course, we saw him in the promo, of course. The thing is, is that's weird. It's like he has no, yeah, you find out that a lot of people have no respect for Simba at all. I mean, like, you know how it is. It's like if you have a friend and you go over his house, do you think you're actually going to say, hey, um, let's say the friend's dad is Ken. His name is Ken. It's like, hey, Ken. No, 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 no. You'll say, hey, my friend's dad or hey, Mr. So-and-so. Not, yeah, so that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, dude. Like, dude, if you're going to name, say, hey, Simba, or Simba was the name of dude, it's like, dude, I figure you would actually say your father and not Simba. That's, like, stupid. That's just, that's just disrespectful, people. But anyways, we get introduced to the top hyena named John John or Johnja. I don't know. It's hard to actually hear what they were trying to say. But anyways, I think his parents is the girl hyena from the first movie and the smart guy not ed but the other guy i think they were his parents because it sounds like he is sassy and he kind of has the same tone of voice as the male hyena so i think those are his parents so there you go thumbs up on the continuity okay so it's like pick someone your own size that was mentioned in the first movie that was said in the first movie, Simba said it, and now his son said it. So, the massive roar occurred, the legion roar, a mark of a brave lion. Yeah, so they don't actually give that name out. Yeah, I just made that mark of a brave lion. Yeah, they don't actually give that a name at all, so that's kind of weird. Nala might actually have the same voice. Maybe, maybe. And apparently, <laughs> Simba did have a talk with Keon about can you feel the love tonight from the mushy stuff. So apparently, they talked about it before, the birds and the bees. So that's interesting. <laughs> and we get to know what the real name of the roar is called. The Roar of Elders. And then we got mention of the Lion Guard. We also see where the Lion Guard's lair is. Timon and Pumbaa's mentioned a few times. Yeah, they by their son or their adopted nephew or something yeah so and then we get some interesting backstory the fact of scar was the leader of the lion guard holy frick yeah that's seriously holy freak which does make sense it's like either you'll be a ruler or you'll be part of the lion guard i guess that makes sense perfect sense so apparently scar had the roar and then the Lion Guard was destroyed due to the refusal of them not wanting to help Scar to get rid of Mufasa. 
Yeah, so he actually took him down. And then after that, after he used the roar for evil, the roar is gone. So that's one of the things that if you use the roar for evil, the roar will disappear and you can't use it anymore. So anyways, Keon got an assignment to assemble a new lion guard. And the interesting part is, of course, they did say the vulture's name. I just didn't get to catch it. It turns out the vultures are not mindless birds like they used to be. If you notice in Lion King, the first movie, you see that episode, you see that part where you had Simba lying there and then you had like some vultures circling around him. Did they speak? No, they didn't. They never spoke. But now we have speaking vultures who actually are not mindless. Interesting. But I guess since they were out in the desert, they might have just became bestial. Well, anyways, we get Tifu and Zuri, and those are the new girl cubs. Those are Kira's friends. Hmm. I wonder where were they in the second movie? Yeah, it's like, where were they? I mean, even if it's like a three-second shot of those two cubs, I would have figured why not just do it. <laughs> yeah, this is like one thing that caused continuity issues, sadly. Maybe if they release the brand, if you release Lion King 2 and insert them in there, maybe you can get away with it. <laughs> uh, you guys, that would be dirty though. That would be so dirty. But you guys did do it before. You did it many times with your dirty secrets. So I guess, eh. Anyways, Timon and Pumbaa, they have the same voice. Makes sense. They got a TV show way back when using the two guys who voiced them. So it shouldn't have been too hard to contact them. We have some tree nail removal. And then you have Kiara has no idea of what the Lion Guard is, which is that's good. That's good in continuity. Toa and Pumbaa is somewhat concerned for their nephew and the fact of work in danger. And then we have the brand new version of Kuma Matata called Zukazama. Which, if you notice the tune they use, it's technically a ripoff of I Like Candy. It is. It technically is. And I think what it means is enjoy the chaos or something. Something like that. And Timon disapproves of this. Yeah, he doesn't really give a crap about this whole entire new phrase that he came up with. So, Kiara insults Bunga, but he doesn't notice and he actually thanks her for it. Uh, Pumba farts, which that's cool. That's a nice little add-on. Yeah, you didn't have Pumba farting in the second movie, did you? I don't think so. Then, yeah, they they kind of they kind of showed it, but they didn't actually allow them to actually. Yeah, there's no rogue lions, aka Kovu and his clan. They were nowhere to be found. And then I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's Zazu? Where's Zazu in all this? It's like, yeah, you gotta have Zazu in here if you're gonna make this a freaking Lion King franchise or next generation it's like you've got to have zazu where is he so we get more details on lion guard everyone every hyena laughs at scar and then protectors of the circle of life that's what they are the hyenas strike now while the freaking lion guard is young that makes kind of perfect sense the hyenas got a brand new song and it's called we Tonight we strike, and that was catchy. That was like one of the ones that I truly thought, and that was catchy. We have a few others called, I think, I'm not sure, but I'm just saying from what I've kind of heard, is Ono, Bashni, and Fuli. So those are the three others who come into the Lion Guard. And then we have baboons who don't look like Rafiki at all, but yeah, we got some baboons. That's a nice little added thing. It's kind of cute how the cheetah sasses on the fact that the Lion Guard, that's the name, is the Lion Guard. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was kind of cool. That was kind of cute. The interesting part is how does the roar activate? That was like the interesting question is how does it activate? And when he doesn't have the roar relying on with him, he actually only just got, Meow. actually it was more like a squeak, but it's like, dang. Yeah, his roar sucks. At least his dad's roar was good. <laughs> Ooh. 
Sorry. Sorry, but I just had to say it. Then we get Zazu. Yeah, Zazu does show up. That's like, thank you, thank you. That That's one thing that's really neat is all the cast of original needs to be there. So thank you for having him in there. They got Simba and Kion talking about the Lion Guard and Lion Guard should be made of lions. And I'm like, how many male lions out there then, huh? I don't think there's lots of male lions. And I don't think you'll be happy if he gets an outlander named Kovu to join in. Because, yeah, way before you were like, Kovu? Mm-mm. So I don't know how many male lions there are. Seriously. Tell me, Simba, how many male lions are there? Well, anyway, Simba thinks he's only playing about it since he got his lion guard. He said, yeah, you're just playing around. Kiara is practicing how to hunt, kind of like how Simba did way back in the day. But she has a friend now. I forgot which one it was. Of course, the hyenas came to crash it. Kion reflects. He uses his song. Ufasa shows up. Might be the same voice or at least close to it. He gave him a good pep talk. Kion looks so like Simba. Yeah, that's one thing I had to say eventually. It's like he looks so like Simba when he was little. So the hyenas are hunting again Simba. Oh yeah, again, one of them said Simba and not his dad. It's like, or King. It's like, what the frick? That's so disrespectful, man. So apparently you have Kion who is able to assign the marks on people, which is like, oh, which makes sense. It's like, so if Scar broke everyone, then that means that as soon as he went for evil, their marks gone, disappeared too. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. And then the Lion Guard has a crappy motto, just like the Power Rangers these days have crappy mottos. <laughs> New music. A battle occurred, like the final battle in the original Lion King. Gazelle Stampede, just like the first movie, but in the first movie was Antelos. And, oh, Bunga. He got a gift from Pumbaa. He now is able to do the fart blast. Oh, jeez. Then we get to show the freaking roar of elders for one final time. And then we get the bombshell of, oh, so this is why they did it. They are planning to do a new freaking series, people. A new series. Wow. They're not trying to do a movie franchise, and yeah, this was very short. It was like close to 50 minutes. So they're, this is their plan. Their plan is to make a brand new franchise. And I guess with the brand new franchise, well, brand new series, there's also toys that goes with it. So, there we go. Wow. So, this movie as a whole. I would say it's kind of sad that it's not actually a movie for its mo a movie sake. It's instead a TV special. That's what it technically was. It's a TV special. So, to go from a franchise that's movie based into being a TV series. And not only that, but come on. Bring back Timon and Pumbaa TV series then. If you're going to bring this new series, then why don't you make a back to back? You have... Timon and Pumbaa, then you have Lion Guard. That would be cool. So, there we go. My gosh. I don't know what to say besides... I mean, my gosh. My gosh. Well, anyways, thank you for watching, and check out the Lion Guard if you can. I mean, you have to check it out if you want to watch the new series. <laughs> oh, man.